The Education Department wants teachers accused of sexual misconduct to be dealt with. Minister Enji Mutsekha is calling on provincial departments and the South African Council of Educators to act promptly in such cases. This was a reaction after pictures and videos emerged recently showing a former principal of a Boxbeck High School engaging in sexual acts with school pupils. To talk to us more about this and of course other similar cases that we have seen um, here in South Africa, we joined from a series in Pretoria by Mugwe Maluleke, he is the General Secretary of the South African Democratic Teachers Union, which is SATU. Dr. Maluleke, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good morning, uh, Spalesa, and uh, good morning to the viewers as well, and thank you for having us. Thank you so much indeed for coming through. I don't know if you have or you have not seen the video, but what we can agree on is it's very inappropriate, very graphic pictures there. What is your view on SAD, as SATU on uh, this phenomenon? Well, we feel that uh, the profession has been shamed um, by, by the behavior of that particular principal and many others that we have seen last year. Uh, we feel that the dignity of our children has been violated and therefore this is cause for concern for all of us as professionals and, uh, and, and indeed I haven't seen the videos because uh, um, I was not around the country uh, however my colleagues have really shared with me uh, what they have seen and indeed we were shocked as an organization and, and, and but obviously without being just saying shocked we are also angered by the fact that we are not seeing a decline in this kind of conduct uh, from our own colleagues that are supposed to be careful for our children because teaching is nothing else about uh, but just caring for our children mm -hmm. now this has become a commonplace of course in the education sector as you say and it's been case after case what's the role of your organization that the in terms of addressing this matter how do do we move away from a point of issuing statements condemning such acts saying they am um, angering the organization but doing something Yes, what we have done um, last year after we have seen that the video uh, of one teacher in, in KwaZulu-Natal, we then decided that we will change um, the diary that we issued to all our 260,000 members in the country and again include in the diary the code of conduct of SATU, which is very, very clear about uh, the role of a professional in terms of your uh, the, the code of conduct and code of ethics of the South African Council of Educators. We have also gone further to ensure that we're going to have conferences and seminars with our principal to talk about this kind of a behavior and uh, clearly throughout um, the country we are going to take campaigns like we started last year by marching in Soweto against violence uh, that we have seen directed uh, uh, to girl children in our schools. So we are going to be continuing to fight uh, for the rights of our children, for the dignity of our children to be respected. Yes, issuing statements are after statement is not going to help us. However, mm. we need to expose this unprofessional behavior in our schools and make sure that we deepen the professional judgment of our teachers and making sure that the environment is conducive for our children to be free to report this kind of um, um, uh, acts that are directed to them by their, 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 their parents in particular in schools um, and, and, and so that we are able to root this uh, behavior uh, that is really shaming our profession out. Yeah, but as you say, there was a march that Satu held last year, but how soon do you think these programs that you uh, make mention of will be uh, implemented in order to address this matter? And in what form, really? Are you looking at perhaps conscientizing the teachers of their moral, uh, their morals um, and the legal and constitutional responsibilities towards learners, which I, which I believe is something that they, they are aware of? Well, we may think that they are aware of, however, the, 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 the situation is such that we need to continuously make sure that they are conscientized, they are made aware, and they are sensitized around the rights of our children, and in particular, dignity, that they cannot um, uh, violate the dignity of our learners in the schools. Then we need to also uh, make them aware of their obligation as teachers, because uh, teaching, as I have said, is about caring. 
um, is local parentis and therefore you cannot see uh, a student as, as somebody that you can exploit. So it's about conscientizing, it's about really awakening their political consciousness as well as their professional judgment which we think we need to work very hard collectively all of us with the Department of Education um, and many other people in, in, in the system like your psychologist uh, and psychosocial services where we are able to say let's create an environment where the children in our schools are intolerant of this kind of behavior. They need to report it immediately. School support ba based uh, um, uh, uh, system in our schools have got to be supported. We have to make sure that they are trained to be able to deal with it. So you'll see the program uh, go throughout of the year. So we are not going to have like an event, but we are going to have a systemic uh, process where we are able to say we are, re are re reawakening our own professional conduct, our own ethics, uh, and we're taking responsibility for who we are as a profession. Yeah, and as much as we uh, talk of the rights of these learners, but in some instances, these relations are, are consensual. Well, um, from the perspective of SATU is that we must never blame the victim, uh, the victims. We need to identify those who have got the authority, those who are able to make a professional judgment and say, as an adult, I cannot have to uh, approach a learner and, 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 and then come and claim consensual um, uh, relationship because at the end of the day, you need to look at whether these people are equals. They are not equals. The principal or the teacher is a parent. You you have got the authority. The learner is desperate. He's in an, a disadvantaged uh, situation. Some of them they want to pass. They are being promised by their teachers that if they sleep with them, they will then be given the marks to pass. So it's, it's an environment where you are exploiting a desperate learner who has got no power, who has got no authority as also. I don't think that they must be forgiven or even for uh, be understood that uh, there is consensual. We must just refuse. As a profession, we must refuse to understand that excuse of consensual relationship. There is no consensual relationship. Yeah. It is exploitation. It is indeed very sad because obviously this impacts on the future of the very same children that teachers are trying to mold. But I, I want us to put a tweet, one tweet here on the screen um, from one of uh, the citizens here in South Africa who was basically saying, as I quote, I bet public school children are surprised by the surprise over this uh, hashtag Rehapak high issue. Let's be honest now, Ndate uh, Maluleke. This is um, more common and it, it sort of seems like part of the curriculum now and many of these cases and others go unreported. Would you agree perhaps that us as the communities and uh, perhaps your organization as SATU have failed to protect uh, the learners by failing to come out decisively on such matters? Well, it is indeed um, uh, continuing to be shocking, to be um, demoralizing many of our teachers who are highly committed. As an, as an organization, as soon as this thing was reported to us in, the, in previous years, we began to uh, review our policies. We began to say to our members, look, you cannot associate yourself with SATU if uh, you behave in this particular manner. We began to take resolution that says, if such a person is a member of SATU, we will immediately rescind his or his membership immediately because we cannot be seen to be associated. So we need to work together collectively to ensure that we protect indeed uh, our children. So um, uh, it's not a question of public school. It's a question of all institutions, whether it's private or public, mm -hmm. where we see uh, these um, uh, acts of misconduct happening. And therefore, we're calling for uh, the moral re uh, regeneration in our society. We need to find our campus as a, as, as a society. We are working with uh, Father Mkacho, who is the chairperson uh, of uh, moral regeneration. We are going to be having more meetings about that so that we have a collective of um, interventions uh, and, 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 and processes yeah. that can see us being able to root out this kind of an act. All right, just a quick one on this. We, we've seen the Department of Basic Education basically saying that uh, yeah. they will report uh, um, the this, uh, teacher that's involved in these acts at Arecha Park to the Council of Educators, which he says in order for him to be struck off the roll. Is this really helping, the issue of striking them off the roll? Do you think it's really helping? I mean, we've seen the numbers of uh, teachers being struck off the roll sort of going up uh, in the previous financial year. 
Well, whilst we may think that it's not helping, but the more we report, the more we make sure that South African Council for Educators is supported, the more we provide evidence for them and report these particular cases for them, they will be able to take decisive action and we can begin to think that it will be a deterrent. And indeed, we should not undermine these particular efforts. Instead, we should be uh, calling for more efforts, for more action, and uh, we believe as such to that uh, we will be able to deal with this particular situation. As professionals, we cannot allow it to demoralize us. We cannot allow ourselves to raise our hands in the air and say we cannot do anything. We are clear about this particular thing as such that we will be able to root this particular behavior out of the profession uh, because we cannot associate with these particular people. Oh. They are criminals. They need to be arrested. They need to be mm -hmm. uh, rotting in jail. They cannot come back and put their foot in our schools. All right, let's leave it at that for now, Dr. Maluleke. Thank you so much indeed for uh, coming through. And of course, we'll be watching over the programs that you're about to implement in order to root out the scourge. Mugwena Maluleke is uh, the uh, Secretary General of the South African Democratic Teachers Union, which is Satu, talking to us about the incident at Reha Paghai and others of the same nature. We take